hi it's sunday night it's after work i probably don't look my best although i have struced myself up a little bit just for you tonight is a full moon and i want to do a piece of magic that i've done before uh it's called a witch's ladder you can think of it as magic or you can think of it as um goal setting with intentions wish making through practical crafts thing i'm too fucking i've had two sips of cider this stuff is like 13 percent it's called a witch's ladder it basically consists of taking bits of wood tying them together with string and making your intentions known as you tie those knots so focusing on your goals wishes and dreams as you tie those knots and then when you're finished you'll have this weird funky hanging thing that you can put up in your garden and you should leave until it falls apart by itself when i lived in wales before i went to japan i made one uh, with goals about going to japan and my time in japan and they all actually came true so magical knot it seems to be a goal setting tool that works for me so i'm going to do one today uh, focusing on something else so most importantly the string that you use has to be a natural biodegradable string this is hemp string asahimo new word we've learned today twine asahimo um, and this will biodegrade naturally no problem at all you don't want to use anything like um baling twine which is nylon or polyester there's a piece of you can see a piece of pink baling twine in the background that i'm using to tie some willow together don't use baling twine don't use polyester threads don't use acrylic yarn from knitting it needs to be a natural material if you use a twine that you have made yourself such as hand spun hemp or wool or whatever that's perfect because that's got extra craftsmanship extra boost in it from you working with it then there's the case of the wood what wood do you use for your witch's ladder for my japan one i used driftwood off the beach because i was asking for protection overseas and the travel theme so on when you make yours it all depends on the goals you're setting and the symbolism of the wood when I talk about the symbolism of the wood, I don't just mean historic or traditional symbols. For example, ash is a really important tree in Norse mythology because the tree at the centre of the world, I think it's called Igris Igrisil. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Sorry, Norse mythology fans. The tree at the centre of the world is said to be a huge ash tree. And then you can take other symbolism on top of that, like ash is a wood that burns green. So if you're doing goals that are related to starting something, to being young, to getting going, then ash is a good one for that. And then there might be your own personal symbolism behind it. So if you were t setting goals that are about family and you remember that in your family home as a child, there was a certain type of tree, like let's say you had a field maple in your front garden, you can then use field maple wood for family spells. So here's some other woods that I've got with me right now that I can do some examples of. So wild cherry, symbolism in this one, it's a hardwood. So you think all the things that come with that, rigidity, longevity, uh, strength. It's a fruit wood, so you think of the symbolism that comes with that, sweetness, uh, nourishment, giving. It's very popular with wildlife, it's called a bird cherry, so there's symbolism there. And also I would say, uh, as it's a wild cherry rather than a cultivated cherry, it's got a kind of feral side. So you can think it's about freedom, growth without limits, those kind of things. Wild cherry. Elderwood. I don't know if I'm going to use this in my one. This is elderwood. I did not harvest this. Someone else did and it's been left lying around. Elder is associated with fairies and the fey world. It's also um, very much associated with music because you can make flutes out of it. And there's a few other associations there. Good sleep, elderflower, 
scent is supposed to be very good at inducing sleep and dreamlike state. And then here I've got some ivy, this is ivy stem. So it's not technically a word, it's not technically like a tree, but I would say the symbolism behind ivy, it's very, very fast growing. Um, so again, a growth boost in your spell um, can be constricting. So if you wanted a goal that, bind, that binds something to you, then ivy would be a good one to use. So I'm gonna gather my wood now. You can think about what number of sticks you want to use. Just pick what feels intuitive to you. This is about you and it's about what feels good to you. So don't do this spell if you're feeling rushed. Don't be like, oh my God, it's a new moon. I've got to do Witch's Ladder. Only do it when you feel like you really want to do it. And don't do it if you're in a bad headspace because this is about looking forward to the future in a positive way and setting these goals together. So I'm gonna go collect my wood and then come back and I will film some of the process just to show you how I do it. So I start with my length of string and all I'm doing to start off with is I fold it in half to make a loop and then just knot that loop so I have a loop for hanging or to help me hang at the end. Then I just start taking my wood. Place your wood in between, in the middle. And then just tie a simple knot to keep it in place. If you're really good with knots, you can tie something fancy. And as you're doing it, you just wanna be thinking about your intentions. What is my goal? What am I working towards? What does this wood represent? What are my dreams? What am I going towards? What's happening? What's the future that I'm working for? I like a little bit of space between them. So then I just tie another knot and then I just place my next stick. So that's the start of our witch's ladder, just two pieces of wood held together with string like that. I'm just coming to the end now and it's a bit hard to see because I've got this big chunk of holly with the spikes left on uh, for protection and then I want to finish with this chunk of wild cherry that's going to give it a good weight so it dangles nicely and then I want to finish just at the bottom with this magpie feather that I found yesterday because I feel like this is sort of putting it in black and white <laughs> so to speak and also just because it's pretty. So here's the end thing lying down on the block I made it on and you'd be right in thinking it just looks like a horrible tangled mess. So it's time to lift it up and see it transformed into its end stage. So here we are, this one's really bushy compared to the last one I made because the last one I just used dry driftwood so it almost looked like a spine, a collection of bones. And this one I've added in fresh green woods, including the foliage on there. So I've got oak and holly on there. Some of the symbolism for me, oak is a very masculine wood. So that's um, goals involving more masculine energy. And then holly is for protection. The spikes keep away bad things. So that's part of that. And there we are. We've got the feather at the bottom as well. So I'm just gonna go hang this in a tree.
So here it is, my witch's ladder, my my new moon witch's ladder. What I will do to seal these goals is at the next full moon, I'll make another one out of the same materials, but in miniature, so only like a third of the branches that I've used here. And then I'll hang it in the same tree, but from a different point. And that to me kind of binds the action all together and makes the goals work. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this process. I don't often share these kind of things with people because I can be quite self-conscious about my spirituality and my personal practices in nature. Um, but I thought I'd share this one because it's quite a fun little craft to do and you don't really have to believe in anything. You can just decide that you're going to think about your goals while making a cool little garden ornament. Uh, join me next time. I don't know what I'll be doing next time, but I'll be doing something. So I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.